welcome, welcome Jersey boys to Muddy Stilettos. You must be very excited. Very. So, very excited. Waste. I'm ready to go. <laughs> like no Stilettos. But listen, uh, introduce yourselves first of all. You're playing at the Ellsbury Waterside. It's on now. It's going to the 14th of July. But who are you and who are you playing? Sure thing. My name is uh, Declan Egan. <laughs> I'm playing Bob Gordio. <laughs> Sure thing. My name's Simon <laughs> Bailey and I play Tommy DeVito. I'm not quite so sure. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely Lewis Griffiths and I play Nick Massey. And I'm Michael Watson. I play Frankie Valley. Fantastic. And can you just tell those who don't already know uh, this smash hit musical what it's about? What is it about? Why should we be coming to see it? Well, Mike, would you like to take this? Yeah, this no, one? I'll we take this one. Uh, well, basically, it's a story about four guys from the uh, wrong side of the track, yeah. really. And... Uh, you know, they, they come together through a connection of music. Uh, and uh, there's, like Tommy says at the beginning, there's three ways out. What are the three ways out, um, Simon? You, you can join the army. <laughs> on the spot. I know he's lying to me. Join the army. You can get switch. mobbed up or you can become a star. And uh, luckily, they became stars. But um, in this journey, you think they become stars, finish the show. No, that's where the ride really begins. And uh, they go through some troubles. Connections with the Mafia, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of laughs, a few tears, and a lot of dancing. Couldn't have put it better. And that's the end of the interview. Thanks very much for your time. Pleasure. That's an hour and a half. Thanks. Only gentlemen, there's a long way to go. Uh, and you are talking about the Four Seasons, of course. Of course. Yeah. And, uh, and they're playing in London in December. Did you know that? Group outing for you guys? Yeah, well, he's oh, coming to Leeds. He comes yeah. to Leeds when we're there, so we're hoping yeah. he's going to come along again because he's. Uh, we get two bites that, don't we? It'd be nice to go and see. Yeah, him. he comes to watch it in London once uh, when I was there still, and that was an amazing experience. So it was also surreal to perform for uh, the guy who you're playing. So, um, but luckily he <laughs> he enjoyed it, which was really good. Thank you. you have you have you met it? You've met him. I have. Yeah, yeah, once we were yeah. when I did the last tour of Jersey Boys, um, we were in Liverpool, and, and Frankie was playing Manchester. So he uh, basically wanted to promote the show and promote himself. So he said, "Let's get the seasons on." Uh, unfortunately for you guys, it was a bit far to go up from uh, from London. So they asked the tour seasons, and that's when I got yeah. to meet, meet the, the great man himself. That must be incredible, isn't it? To be I is it was quite nerve wracking? Petrified. Mm. <laughs> I mean, how did you feel when you met him? Uh, well, yeah, I was. You're playing him. I was ner that's the most nervous I've been before a show. I'd ever word myself, and then luckily just got lost in the show. But. Um, I was told that he's got away with words, and if he doesn't enjoy it, he'll let you know. So there was uh, that, you know, and, and if you can see touch of that within the show, you know, he's a, he's a character, but, um, you know, he loves music, and at the end of the day, his passion is music, and that yeah. is what drives him, mm. and why he's still touring at 83, so. So you guys, have obviously, you've, you know, that's amazing to meet him, and you've got some great credentials, you're all really... You know, amazing, successful. We're seasoned. You are seasoned, <laughs> seasoned. <laughs> seasoned, seasoned. Um, so, uh, you know, give us your most famous co-stars. What's your, what's your biggest moment so far? Apart Simon, from each other, clearly. Simon, <laughs> Simon, Simon Bailey. Bailey. Welcome, Simon Bailey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That, that is that. Um, that's the answer. <laughs> one of my favourites was um, Sheila Hancock. She was wonderful. When I played uh, oh, okay. with her in um, Sister Act, very highly of you. I don't know. No, and she, uh, she, I learned a lot from her because she's such a seasoned actor that you know she. I learned from her how to try and truly get lost in the moment with acting. You know, just from watching her, that was amazing. And I try to emulate that sort of style as much as I can. So she, she's one for me. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've had some lovely ones, really. I mean, uh, I mean, not certainly, maybe not. I mean, I've worked with a lot of amazing people, but for me, one of the biggest. The biggest moments for me was I did the Royal Variety performance a few years ago in a, in a group that I was in, um, and we got to meet the Queen afterwards, you know, so, and, and uh, sort of looking, yeah. Ooh, one Trump's. Of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I've, I, I've met Brian May Hancock when I did We Were Rock, and he's from Queen. Yeah, so. <laughs> and I've met Brian as well, because I did it as Queen, well. Queen, yes, yeah. We Were Rock, exactly, yeah. Hey, what about your dressing rooms? Like, like anything unusual in them? You know, what you do in them? You know, keep it clean. Me? Uh, yes, I'm the unusual item in the dressing room. Thank you so much. I mean, I do like to do a bit of yoga. On a on a note, I like to try and keep her as loose as possible, uh, for many reasons. But yeah, just it helps me with the show. Do you uh, honestly? To not not feel too tense. Yeah, I find it releases the voice, releases uh, the mind a little bit. You know, gets you in the zone. Mm. I brought it back to serious a little bit there. No, I like that. Is it, yeah. it nerve-wracking? You know, doing is it nerve-wracking of going on the stage time after time? Do you get used to it? I think you, you, you'd be foolish not to get a little bit nervous because you need that kind of um, 
nervous energy to kind of mm. kick start the adrenaline. Um, yeah. But and once, like, like you said, <coughs> once you're flowing, you're in, you're in the zone. And it's live theatre, so you never know what's going to happen. Exactly. Like, <laughs> we've had some interesting hiccups in the show. So, like... Tell the, me. The, the yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, my favourite is the, the Glaswegian woman in the front row. Oh, oh yeah. That just thought she was the fifth season and was basically having a whole... Loving her life. ...dialogue with us whilst we were saying... Uh, every, every moment was just like... She was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Like, you know, <laughs> it was brilliant. I had yeah, a amazing. really big hiccup the other day, and I haven't had one like this ever. But um, Mary asked me what my real name was, and she goes, that's your real name, Valley. And I'm going to say, no, Castellucho. But I went, no, Gordio, as in Bob Gordio. Oh <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. my God. You can play anyway, luckily, I changed it. But yeah, then we swapped roles for the rest of the <laughs> night, then, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> right, if you were One Direction, which one's Harry? Me. Yeah, clearly. Because I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, I, I like to imagine I get the most whoops, but I don't. Why do you, why do you say Harry? Harry? Why? It was always, isn't it always, Harry? do you remember when one Harry was the big like, star, wasn't he it? He was yeah. the one, he was like, everyone wanted to. But who went solo first? Zane. Who? Zane, Zane went solo first. Oh, I, was, I was going with Frankie, but okay. Oh, uh, right. No, but <laughs> I... Uh, one Direction. No, but <laughs> who Which not has been in four seasons? seasons? Do you know what, though? You do have quite the following, though, don't you? On the tour, sir. Yeah, thanks, Mum. Love the, you for uh, that. Of the, uh, <laughs> the ladies. He had one girl who whooped him, you know? And then when I, when I come out to stage door, she was there. I said, why didn't you whoop me then? Like, just to make her feel yeah. a bit about it. And then she, like, every time now, Mortified. she whoops me. Yeah. But I was only joking. Yeah. How many but times has she come to the show? It's like oh, well, this is the thing. We get, we get a, we've got a big, <laughs> big following of this yeah. show. We've got multiple fans that come multiple times. Yeah. So. You've got the most annoying habit. Give me, come on, someone's got to oh, do something. Me. Um... Oh. Oh, the tongue pulling warm ups. Yeah. I do some warm ups for my tongue yeah. that are, um, at any moment of the day. It's like it could be in the middle of a yeah. an I'm blissfully <laughs> ignorant of mine. I think I'm gonna have to rely on you guys to tell me when I'm annoying. Not all at once, please. I don't have enough time in a day, mate. Oh. <laughs> could you show us your annoying habit? Uh, well, is it cause? You sure they're ready? I don't know. Uh, well, there's this one. <laughs> oh, there's that one. And now, sharing. There you go. There it is. Ready. There it is. <laughs> you sang. Mate, listen, it's a good thing you sang because. No, that's good. No, I only <laughs> sing with people I like. <laughs> Last question. What do you get to what? Are you going to watch an England game Saturday or are you going to be performing? Oh, I will because I don't do the matinee. Yeah. So uh, come to the evening and I'll prom I won't have had a drink though. Mm. But I'm yeah, joking as a joke. Claire, I'm only joking. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm going to come watch it with Claire's the lads like in it. the dressing room because I don't want to watch it alone. And on tour. Oh. I know, but on tour when everyone's at work, it's yeah, everything off, so I'm going to come Maybe in. Very low Fun, though. Yeah. Yeah. Predictions? Low Who's going to win? England. Two England. One England. 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 Yeah. England. 2 1 England. I think so, yeah. True, truly, yeah. Excellent. Jersey Boys, it's been a pleasure. Pleasure's Thank, you. Thank you so much. <laughs>